Hello, how are you? Welcome to Brown Check Engineering. Today we are going to go do two striking of homework from your cast, uh, cast in situ concrete works. And I hope you are going to learn. And uh, please let us know what you think about this video in the comment section. And any questions you have, we are glad to help you through. So whenever you have cast your concrete on site, you need to strike your formwork which means to remove the formwork from the concrete so that you can apply finishes to your concrete work and uh, you can start uh, utilizing the utility of your structure. And uh, these concrete, uh, uh, these formworks have different striking times and uh, we get them from BS8110, the 1997 version, and that is the six, uh, table 6.2. In table 6.2, it guides us that if we have Portland cement of class 42.5R and uh, um, a well cured uh, concrete structure, then we can remove uh, the sides of beams, columns, and walls after 12 hours after casting. From observation, you can see those beams, uh, the formwork to those beams has been uh, striked. And um, we also strike formwork uh, at the soffit of our slabs soffit of our slabs that is after four days but we still leave the props of our slab standing and we strike uh, we remove those props after 10 days now uh, during 10 days we also remove the soffits of our beams that is as it can be observed here these ones we remove them after 10 days but we still leave the props of the beam standing. Uh, the props are these ones, and we remove them after uh, 14 days. So for beams, we remove the sides after 12 hours, and then we remove the soffits after 10 days, and uh, the props after 14 days. And for slabs, we remove the soffits after four days, and the props after 10 days. So uh, basically that is for class 0.2.5R, uh, ordinary Portland cement which has been designed to be as 12 the 1991 version if you have any other parameters probably a different class of concrete you can uh, use some tables which are called Syria tables actually Syria tables uh, number 139 can uh, has a lot of tables that can uh, has a lot of information that can guide us in striking of homework from our concreting works. So please ensure you take that into consideration. Also, if you remove this for uh, our formwork, you need to ensure that your elements are well cured and you, ha you are also required to cover them with a special type of textile that will enable them to retain moisture. Now, um, we might have uh, a few other special cases. For example, if you have a member subjected to fledger, you can remove your formwork after it has attained a strength of 10 newtons per millimeter. So if it has attained a strength of 10 newtons per millimeter, you can strike your formwork. Or uh, you can also compare it to uh, if it has achieved twice the stresses that the element will be subjected to, uh, whichever is greater between the two, you can strike your formwork. So, and um, also another thing to consider is whenever you're striking homework, please do not uh, strike it suddenly, strike it gradually so that you transfer the loads to the members gradually. If you strike it suddenly, then you might have your members uh, under sudden load and that might cause cracking or, or failure. And uh, curing is also important, ensure that you do curing so that uh, even after striking your homework, you continue with and uh, the striking uh, time of homework depends on many things including the class of concrete, the curing, the element and, and the type of homework that you're having. So uh, please uh, note these things when you are doing striking of homework on site. Thank you very much and I hope you have learned a lot. Uh, for you to be able to access the Syria table or BS12 that I've mentioned or BS82, A8110 that I've mentioned in this video, uh, you can send me a comment in the comment section. Uh, I will uh, leave my um, email address also. You can address me through that so that I'll be able to send all this to you. Thank you very much and I hope you have learned a lot.
please subscribe to this our channel uh, press the bell icon for notifications in the future and guide guide your friends who want to learn about engineering and, and, and such uh, stuff it is awesome learning engineering